As a mother of three kids, I always had to think how long I could stay on maternity leave. It was not an easy decision, um, but finally we decided that I stay at home for just a year, a short maternity leave, and then my husband decided to work part-time to take care of the kids as well. I've been asking myself what would have happened if I had stayed longer at home? And this is a question I think most mothers ask themselves. And I have the chance to look at this question using uh, data and statistical models. My name is Silvia Fröwirtschnatter. I'm full professor of applied statistics and econometrics here at the University of Economics and Business. And I'm chair of the Institute for Statistics and Mathematics. I was lucky enough to be one of the principal investigators in a big national research network funded by the FWF. And within this research network, we had exceptional data from the Austrian Social Security Register, where data are collected for all Austrian employees, including demographic data like income, of course age, uh, number of kids, uh, the, the length of maternity leave and other demographic information we could use. We had a lot of collaborations um, and a particularly interesting collaboration with two other female researchers. Liana Jacobi, she's an economist at the University of Melbourne and Helga Wagner, she's a statistician at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz. To analyze this kind of data, we use um, a so-called potential outcome model uh, because as we don't know what those mothers would have earned, we include this information in our model as latent variables. Uh, we end up with a system of equations and then by combining the statistical model with the data, we are able to infer on what we haven't observed. And for this we use um, a method, a technique, the so-called Bayesian econometrics. So when we analyzed this data, not surprisingly, it turned out that most mothers earn less money than they earned before their maternity leave. It's not surprising because many of them work part-time. The interesting result here is that for mothers deciding to stay at home for a longer period of time, there isn't much of a difference. Of course, they earn less immediately after maternity leave, but there this kind of gap is closing in the long run. On the other hand, if we look at mothers who decided to stay at home only for a short period of time, it turns out if they had stayed longer at home, uh, this would have had a bad impact on their career. So it seems that mothers, when they have to decide how long they stay on a maternity leave, know exactly what they can expect in terms of their career and make the right decision so they know exactly what they are doing. I hope that in the near future we have enough data to analyze this question also for fathers. In terms of my career, uh, probably I wouldn't have given so many talks, international talks in Oxford, Harvard and other places. I probably wouldn't have worked with a Nobel laureate in economics. It's important for some women to return to the labor market early on and policymakers should take care that those women have all the support they need for childcare, places in kindergarten and schools for the whole day.